It is UAP season once again, and it's high time that we get to talk about the players that will dominate the court. In season 84, Adamson's Jerome Lastimosa topped the scoring department. He averaged 14.71 points per game, 4.5 rebounds per game, and close to 4 assists per game. Next on the list are RJ Abarientos and Harvey Pagsanhan, who averaged 13 points each per game. But it's a new season with new set of players. So who are the top guys to watch out for? First up, Carl Tamayo is definitely on that list. Will he play heavy minutes because of his overall experience, especially with Gilas? At the end of the elimination round, Carl was UP's second leading scorer behind Richie Rivero. Tamayo was also a vital piece in UP's championship run. Having a unique experience with Gilas Filipinas, how will he be able to bring it to the UAP? Next on the list is Ateneo's Dave Ildefonso. Dave has made an immediate impact for the Blue Eagles in Season 84 since his transfer from NU. According to basketball analyst Enzo Floho, Dave should be one of the top, if not a top player expected to lead his team this season. He started games, provided instant offense, and locked down the best players. Dave's Season 84 averages 11.6 points per game, 5 rebounds per game, and 3 assists per game. With the departure of SJ Belanghel and Gian Mamuyak, will Dave be the alpha? Will he be the closer for the Blue Eagles? He was not on the roster last season, but definitely a guy to watch out for. And a lot of Hoop fans are excited about De La Salle's Kevin Kambao. If it's the first time you're hearing the name, he won championships with the any Bull Pops at Carl Tamayo and Coach Goldwyn Monteverde. In his two years with the Bullpups, he averaged a near double-double of 10 points and close to 10 rebounds per game. But he quickly realized his potential even before suiting up for the green and white in the UAAP. He made an impact in the recent PBA D-League, winning a title for Eco Oil DLSU. But what Pinoy fans got intrigued was, just like Tamayo, Kiambao already was part of Gilas Pilipinas at a young age. He was part of the team that faced the likes of India and New Zealand in the FIBA World Cup Asian Qualifiers. He stands 6'8", has a decent all-around game, and a past-first big man. So, what do you think? Can he be that missing piece for the Green Archers' redemption season? Who are your picks for the top players this season 85? Comment your answers below.